What's up, NicoFish1000 doing an update. 75 gal. So this is what I've gotten done today. I cut up some plywood so I could get the 1.5 inch that we're sticking off on each side. Got that. Got the driftwood out of the pond. Got this from up in the Adirondacks. Found in a small pond, just loaded up my kayak. Check it out, bam. It's looking good. Uh, here, let me just turn the light on. I'm gonna have to buy a, just a longer strip because this is actually the light for my smaller tank. I just kind of put it here just to see how it looks. I'm gonna buy some light down at Home Depot. Not gonna bother by spending the money at a fish store. Well, anyway, one thing about sand super important that you rinse it. I mean, it's cheap. Just go down to Home Depot or Lowe's or a hardware store anywhere buy quick creek play sand a lot of people don't like it they say it's super fine but that's just because they're not rinsing it check this out look you can like see the individual sand like I bought 50 pounds of it I must have rinsed off at least 25 pounds of sand but check it out after all that rinsing look at how fast it settles I mean I put that in a couple hours ago and the water's just crystal clear look at that I've been obsessing about the sand for a while here been playing with it <laughs> Got some driftwood shavings just in the bottom. Just around the bottom. But I kind of like how they look. Check out Heck Discus' channel. His awesome videos of underwater in the lake in Brazil. Just looking tense. I'm going to try and recreate that here. So this isn't nearly done. I still got more driftwood, some more rocks to add. I'm going to even add some plants. I don't know how I'm going to get them to grow. I might do like small amounts of dirt around them. might try that. I don't know. But it's my big driftwood tank. I'm really proud of this. Bam. I still need a heater. So it's not going to be done for a while. And look. It's my tiny driftwood tank. It's just like the big one except small. Yeah. Okay. See you.